Okay, hi. So I'm Annie and I'm a miserable cow or whatever. So this is kind of random, like off the cuff. Um, it's evening, I just ate dinner, but I had this random thought and I just want to sort of bounce this idea off of other people. I recently took the big five personality test and I've taken it before, um, but I took it like years ago and analyzed the results and I sort of forgot. I mean, I generally, you know, I'm 42 years old. So I sort of like know what my tendencies are and how I operate. But anyway, I scored 100% in openness and I've just been kind of thinking about openness. To me, that seems like a really high score. Like on a different day, I might um, score not 100% because that seems like a little over the top. You don't have to tell me that I have really high openness. I know this about myself. I mean, I am an extremely abstract thinker and that is both a blessing and a curse. But anyway, here's what I'm thinking about. Just finished eating dinner with my partner and we did our evening routine watching TV. I love routine. We watched a show called Grand Designs about people who take it upon themselves to build their own houses and sometimes they get in over their heads and that makes me nervous. But a lot of times they take big risks and they build homes that are really beautiful and that's a wonderful thing. Anyway, I had this thought uh, just after dinner, I was thinking, my sister is pregnant. She's having her second baby. So her first baby was a boy, my nephew. Now she's having another baby. And she's about three months along. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. Well, I had this memory that I called my mom. My mom answered and she put me on speakerphone and she was driving in the car on the way home from Costco. And it was my mom, my sister, and my mom's boyfriend in the car. And I asked my sister, are you having a boy or a girl? And she said, oh, it's another boy. And so I remembered that. And so I was telling my partner, oh, they're having another boy. And then I kind of second guessed myself. I was wondering, wait a minute, did that really happen? that whole conversation? Was that a dream? And this happens to me so frequently. My thinking during the daytime when I'm conscious is so extremely abstract. And then my dreams at night are prolific. I just have so many dreams and my dreams can be very mundane, like just regular boring stuff. And so I really sometimes can't distinguish between waking and sleeping. I don't know if it was real conscious life or something that I dreamed. And so I texted my sister, did you tell me that you were having a boy or was that a dream? And then I felt kind of impatient waiting for the text to come back. So I called my mom and I asked her, do we know if my little sister's next baby is a boy or a girl because I really remember her telling me that she was having a boy but maybe that was a dream because sometimes I get confused and it turns out that she doesn't know yet so my sister is 35 years old and so that's technically considered a geriatric pregnancy and so she's gotten a genetic test just to you know make sure there's no issues and also to determine the sex of the baby and we don't actually know yet so it is true that I called my mom and my mom answered to put me on speakerphone and they were driving home from Costco and my mom and my sister and my mom's boyfriend were in the car. But it is not true that my sister told me that her next baby was going to be a boy. So I'm just wondering, <laughs> does this happen to other people? I don't think it's an INFJ thing necessarily, although INFJs tend to be people that maybe have a higher score for openness on the big five test. Maybe it's an indicator of openness or maybe I'm just mentally ill. But this happens to me so often. I have so many really vivid dreams at night and they're both vivid and very mundane at the same time so that I can't always distinguish them from reality. And I'm just wondering if this happens to other people. So um, let me know in the comments. Are you crazy like me? That is all.